Dear friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the 4 megabyte flash mega card that was created by Bernd Herale from Germany. This is a flashable cartridge that you can upload your files, ATR or cartridge ROM images into it using an SIO to PC cable and a software on the PC computer that you can create this kind of uh, menus. The menus can be easily navigated using the arrow keys or you can use the joystick to move around and push the button to select the file that you would like to load. And you can also move around between pages and push the letter that you would like to run. For example, if I would like to load the big, scro big scroller demo, I would just push the letter D. It will instantly load the demo. And play the game or the software. If you want to exit, there is a reset button on the cartridge that you can push and then push reset. It will take you back to the menu. You do not have to switch off the computer and turn it on again. So the four megabyte flash card can host up to four megabyte of data. Again, that can contain ROM 8 or 16K ROM cartridges executable files or even can contain ATR files. So I'm just going to select another demo here, push and enter. It will immediately instantly load the game. So let's go switch to the PC computer and see how you can create such menus with lots of files in them. We are now using a PC computer to download the tool to create the ROM images. To, to go and start, let's go first to Herale website. You can find it at www.herale.org. You click that to enter and we will click on the four megabyte flash megacart link. Scroll down into the cartridge and click on the cartridge image. It will take us into the cartridge page with a bit of information of what emulators can support the ROM images that the tool that we are going to show now will create. Click on the English link and it will take us to the cartridge information page. This information page will contains all the technical information how the cartridge works how to operate the Megacart Studio, that's the tool we're going to use now, which formats it support, how to operate with the multiple ATR files, and some more technical bits uh, around here. You can click on the download link to save into your uh, desktop the Megacart, me, the Mega Studio, the Megacart Studio, and when we did that, Let's go ahead and start the Megacart Studio. The Megacart Studio is a Java based application. So it requires that you will have Java runtime. If you don't have Java runtime, just go to Oracle site and download the latest Java runtime that is good for your computer. Now let's start <clears throat> with the uh, adding some files into our projects. Oh, but before that, let's go and see that we can go and click on the settings here. And here we can sell and set the output directory where we're going to save the ROM image of the cartridge that we are going to create. And also, we can also set the path to the emulator. And I'm using the Altera emulator. And that emulator will allow us to test the ROM image that, and that we are creating on the fly. So here you would set the uh, path to the emulator. Let's start and add some files. I saved some files here. Let's start and add some 16K ROM image. That's BCS Quest. Add it to the first line. If I'm not happy with how the file name is written, I can just go in and I can change that. 
let's add another file let's try and load pitfall games so I'm adding both pitfall 1 and pitfall 2 into my uh, list again if I'm not happy with the way that the file name is written I can just change that here all right so let's go and add some executable file let's find an executable file that I have here that's balder-2 I can add it here and if the game conflict with the loader I can go click on the right side here and change the loader starting address from hex 700 to hex 400 just in case if the game would not start but how would you know if the game start at any point of time you can right click on the entry and click test test will launch the Altera emulator that the pass we set in earlier so that works we can also try and test pitfall again right click on the entry it will take us to the emulate the entry name and just take us and see how the cartridge will be executed on the real Atari so we can go and add more files here we can also add the minor for a uh, 2049er game at any point we can also sort the name alphabetically if you like to do that or we can just move those names around the list let's try and add some ATR files let's add agent USA agent USA is an ATR file we can right click on it and click test to see that it works let's wait a bit and it does so the mega cart can also allow you to add ATR files into the menu the approach that the mega cart work is by adding uh, by modifying the operating system to support and loading the ATR from the cartridge that instead from a disk this means that it requires that you have the Atari XL and XE with 64k of RAM let's try and add a more ATR here let's try and add both uh, the count now the count game is the multiple ATR files uh, it comes either on uh, two floppies or two sides of a floppy and in order for that to work we have to group them by changing the last uh, the entry names into the correct drive uh, disk number so this count a is actually the first diskette floppy a and count b is floppy b let's sort them so we have the count first floppy and then we have the count second floppy so let's try and test to see if it works so the megacart studio launches the Altera emulator that executed our temporary ROM image that is being created by the megacart studio so yes we can see that the count game adventure game uses the standard uh, disk drive routines and we can emulate those now we are reach a state we're reaching a stage where the game asks us to flip the floppy or change it to the second diskette and we can do that by pushing control shift and two that's will actually flip the diskette to the second one we're doing it here on the emulator and we can also do the same thing on the atari when we flip when we, when we pressed control shift and number two we can then continue because the second flop is has been mounted and we are actually now playing the count adventure game 
All right, so we can go ahead and add more files to our um, cartridge. Let's try the Barbarian game. Let's test, see if it works. The Mega Kart Studio start try to launch the, the Barbarian and it does not. It failed. That's because Barbarian required the full 64K. Barbarian game also used the Shadow OS, the 16K behind the operating system. That's we actually we are storing our modified operating system with a disk drive routine. So Barbarian is not good for us. So it's going to remove that from the list. And let's try and add another file. Let's try try and add Alicat. Try to remove that from the entry names and just see if it works. So now we are try testing on the emulator the Alicat entry and it works fine. So we are good with that. When we are done, we can simply right click on file, generate for megabyte worm image and it will, you can give a name that's called test cart test game or we can just call it my fav my favorite games click save and it will generate three files the first file is the ATR files that we're going to mount as drive run on our SIO to PC application and when we will boot that uh, on a real Atari when the cartridge inserted it will flash the ROM image that we uh, created into the cartridge itself. The third file is a text file which contain the list of all the games that we that we uh, generated or created. So let's see this is the text file we just simply a list with all the games that we added into this ROM image, we can save that into our reference. And um, the second file is the actual ROM image that we can uh, try and test on the emulator, Altera emulator. And this is the file that we want to mount on the SIO to PC. So when we will boot it, it will, uh, on a real Atari, it will uh, look for the cartridge and it will try to flash it. So right now it cannot flash because there is no uh, mega flash. It's, this is just an emulation of uh, an emulator uh, software and not a real Atari. So let's go back to the real Atari and mount this ATR as drive one where the cartridge is inserted and see how the flashing progress uh, happens. We are back on the Atari computer. We're going to plug the 4 megabyte cartridge inside the Atari Excel computer and switch the computer on while pressing the reset key at the same time so the cartridge will not boot and we're going to boot into the ATR file that we have created. So we're going to insert the cartridge inside the Atari machine. We have connected the SIO to PC into the PC computer and mounted the ATR that we have created using the Mega Card Studio as drive one. And we're gonna switch the Atari computer on while pushing the reset button. Try again. Yeah, and we have just booted into the Mega Card Programmer software and uh, the programmer software detected the four megabyte flash cartridge and we are now going to click yes to start and flashing the cartridge with the new rom that we have created so the first step is that the cartridge itself will uh, the software will erase the content of the cartridge and when the erase uh, process is uh, finished then it will load into the computer buffer the data of the ROM image from the ATR file and burn it into the four megabyte ROM. Now we just put, I think five or six games. So we have barely used any space from the cartridge. I think we have used something around 400K 
while we have uh, four megabytes so we could put many many more games into the cartridge so the flash st uh, the erase stage has finished and now the SIO to PC is loading the data from the ATR files that we have created into the computer buffer and the computer is programming the 4 megabyte cartridge. We can put here lots of games, lots of demos, ATR files, cartridge ROM images, executable files. Actually put all our favorite software and games into one cartridge where you can just plug it in and play with it anytime you want. So now we have to wait for the um, flashing progress um, to finish and we can uh, see what we got. We are waiting for the flashing process to finish. The flashing time depends on how much data you are uploading into the cartridge itself. It's a fairly easy process. When the flashing pro process finished, it automatically boots into the menu and this is the file that we have created on the and uploaded using the Megacart Studio, using the PC. We can navigate with the arrow keys or the joystick or push a letter that we want to enter. So let's test, let's try and uh, see Pitfall 2. Yeah, it works go back to the menu let's try and uh, load minor 2049er it also loads fine we can also try and uh, load agent usa this is an atr file that we put on a uh, start let's see if it works um yeah um, um, agent usa works fine Let's try and load the count, that's another ATR file, which multiple ATR file. We're gonna try and load it from the first from the disk number one, the first uh, diskette. Let's see if it works. Yeah, and let's uh, go. It's gonna ask us now to flip for the second diskette. So again, we have to push con shift control and the number two, and we just flipped into the second diskette and we can go ahead and um, play the game play the adventure game let's go and see what else we have we can even try and load Alicat it's another ATR file yeah and uh, it also works fine. So thank you Bernd Herale for the four megabyte cartridge. This is a very nice uh, cartridge that will allow you to program and load your ATR files, executable files and ROM images. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and until uh, next time, again, have fun playing with the Atari.